Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Florida and we are going to be attending the Orlando Informer meetup. This is the best way to experience Universal Studios. We basically have the whole park to ourselves, no waits for any of the attractions and uh, all the food is included with the price of admission. So you can just walk up to a restaurant, grab something to eat and then walk away without paying because you already paid for it and I'm so excited to show you guys around. So we're gonna eat some food, ride some rides, and have a beautiful Orlando Informer meetup kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful night out tonight. The temperature's in the 70s, and I am so excited to hang out in the park. The best thing about everything is this uh, event goes till 1.30 in the morning, so we're gonna be here all night. I did the math. A single day ticket, park to park, plus an express is $480 tonight. Like if I came and I showed up to Universal Studios without knowing anything about theme parks and I wanted a single day ticket and skip the lines, I would be paying almost $500 and you can just simply buy an Orlando Informer meetup ticket for $270. And you get all the food included with it, plus more attractions and experiences that you would not get during the day so it just like I said it just makes sense the only challenging part is the availability when I say you can walk into a restaurant and just get whatever you want to eat and then walk away, I mean, you can do that basically everywhere in the park. Almost all of the snack carts are open, all of the little sit down, I mean, the quick service restaurants, uh, and then they even have some special food stations. And so it's really awesome and uh, it's really cool that uh, you basically get to live the dream life of a theme park fan. No wait for any attractions, a theme park to yourself and all you can eat food and drink. I'll put all the information about how you can check to see what dates the Orlando Informer meetup are and how you can actually get tickets too. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can actually find it. Uh, and also they do also vacation packages so you get discounts at the hotels here at Universal. Like I said, if you're interested, you'll see by the end of this video. You'll definitely be interested. So I'll put a link in the description and uh, yeah, hope you uh, get to come one day. They rolled out the red carpet and the check-in area is actually in the backstage in uh, Soundstage 21. Look at this in here. I love it. So we're going to get our credentials and our map and kind of go over everything that we got to look forward to tonight. They even got Snoop actually inside the Soundstage. Look at this. That's a way to start a winter meetup. If the map didn't add up enough for you before, on top of all of the amazing savings you already get, uh, since the food doesn't actually, like the free food doesn't start till 9 p.m., they give you a $15 food and beverage card to get something to eat, to wait while you like enjoy like the park during regular hours. How awesome is that? Each person gets one of those. I love how they have the check-in area back by the sound stages. It's giving me like uh, Halloween Horror Nights vibes actually. Oh, did you see that cool shot right there? That was fancy. Tonight I'm gonna be hanging out with my friend Jason and Sean and my friend Jason He's never actually been here. Well, I think he came to uh, Universal once when he was very young But he never rode any rides so this is like uh, like I said the best way to experience Universal So I'm so excited this is gonna be his first visit and I get to show him everything without having to like wait in lines And he's gonna love the eating part too like all the food so we're gonna try lots of the food it is now officially 8 p.m. and uh, the event, well the food starts at 9 uh, so we get one hour for the regular guests to leave the park and only us with wristbands can stay. Look at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think the rides are still operating between 8 and 9, so since uh, uh, we're going to be like eating later on, I think we're going to head straight to like Hagrid's and Velocicoaster, so then that way we can ride it uh, during the hours or the times that there's not free food, you know? Look at that, the Grinch right there. 
and the line probably looks like it's a 20 minute line. Like I said, during the day, it's been going at 180 minutes. Wow. I'm gonna have to put the camera away, but I'll put in a uh, POV of Velocicoaster so you can see what it's like to ride at night. But I'm so excited. It's gonna be the first ride of the night and we're basically just gonna walk on. started and we can get something to eat and I think we're gonna just go back into the Jurassic area and maybe get something over there and of course one of the best things about the Orlando Informer is the chance to ride the P flyers the pterodon flyers at Camp Jurassic that you can't ride throughout like the regular time unless you have a child but uh, you can uh, actually join a virtual queue to ride it here Yo, what's going on? What's going on in here? <laughs> What's going on in here? This is like crazy. Look at this queue. You loved it, didn't ya? That was great. <laughs> Thanks for soaring. <laughs> the Pterodon Flyers is so much fun. I wish I could record on it and show you, but uh, there's no filming a lot on the ride itself. But it was so amazing. Yo. Look at this. No, this is the thing that's... Is this safe? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go if you go. Hey, yo! <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones. Come on. I'm coming behind you. I'm coming in. I'm coming out with you. We got to go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's erupting! We got out of there just in time! Ah! 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 First stop is gonna be the Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Pop. The Jurassic Park. It's the Jurassic Pop popcorn stand. And they actually have turkey legs, so we're gonna get a turkey leg maybe. Maybe a turkey leg with some popcorn, a monster, and a churro. Can I get a turkey leg? A uh, monster and uh, I'll take a churro. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. So far, the total at this one register, they've rung up $1,136 worth of food. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And bada bing. Have a great night. Look at that. That is crazy that I just walked up to that popcorn car and I was just like, I'll have a churro, a turkey leg, and a monster. And then she's like, you want chocolate sauce? I'm like, sure thing, give me the chocolate sauce. And then we walked away. And I think I'm going to keep a total of all of the money that I see on the register, like all night long. 
and then see if we can add it up at the end to see how much money is actually be giving out. You know what I mean? Because they're adding all of this up, like they're accounting for everything. So every time we see a register, I'm gonna take note and we're gonna tally it up. And now, uh, now we eat. Turkey leg, turro. Now that we got our first snack in, I think we're gonna actually make our way over to Universal's side now. We're gonna hop. Instead of walking, I wanna take the Hogwarts Express because my friend Jason never took it before. Uh, so I'm excited to see what food they got over there. Another added benefit for the winter meetup because if you come to the winter meetup, you get all of the holiday like uh, festivities that Universal Studios does. You get to skip the line and you're able to meet the Grinch because he roams around in Seuss Landing. And right now they're doing a standby only wait, so the Grinch wait time is like 180 minute wait. And then you get to see the shows too because you get into the park as early as five o'clock, and I love that. Yes. Yes! You're a Hufflepuff, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> You're a Hufflepuff. This Hufflepuff. It's real! <laughs> oh! Our little cabin right here. Come on in, Jason. Get all cozy, right? Plenty of room. Have a seat. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, what a great ride. What a cozy train. I love going on this ride, but now uh, we're back. Now we're in London. <laughs> and, uh, Look at this. As soon as we got off the Hogwarts Express, they've got uh, vegetable, egg rolls, matcha green, tea. matcha green tea, all free. And it must have just started. What time is it? Nine o'clock? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're like the first orders here. It's only $50 on that register right there. So we gotta keep the total. I'm looking to see how much we can add up by the end of the night. Yeah. I know, oh you saw, I did too. It must have been the same one. Look at this, they actually have vegetable egg rolls and then the bao buns from HHN. That's awesome. Look, what are these? Mochi ice cream. Mochi? Who got mochi? You got mochi? Hey, green, green matcha? Is that mine? Yes. That's a mochi. That's a mochi, not no, matcha. <laughs> How awesome is that? Look at it, and they're so hot. That's turkey in there. Now I'm going in on the egg roll. How are they, good? Yeah? Pretty good egg roll. It's a matcha mochi. Look at how empty it is over here now. Now I can say I think it's that time where all of the regular day guests are gone. They've definitely got rid of everybody and uh, all the food is open. So all these stands, any restaurants that you see, you just go in and you just ask and take whatever they have. Like, it's amazing. One of my favorite desserts at every single Orlando Informer meetup is the bread pudding at Finnegan's. And I'm so excited. I'm like, kind of like, oh yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> they have self-service coffee in here. That's what I like to see, holy moly. How convenient is that? And look, here it is, the bread pudding and the whiskey sauce there. Oh, that was a good pour. <laughs> Wait, I got you guys all some food here. You just wanna grab this one right here? There you go. Hold on, no, 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 not that one, the top one. Top one, yep. And then you take this little uh, bread pudding right here. There you go, set that down. Not that one, and then you take this one. You take the mac and cheese. Ah, look at that. Nothing like chicken wings, bread pudding, whiskey sauce, before you get on mummy. <laughs> the chicken wings are good, but nothing compares to this and uh, the, uh, the bread pudding with whiskey sauce. This is the best thing at the Orlando Informer. This is better than the chicken empanada. To me, yeah, I love this. Yo, this is so good. Extra whiskey sauce. I thought I was gonna what lose it there. Sauce? I think it's whiskey vanilla sauce. Look at how empty it is around here. I love this so much. This is what you want. This is what I'm talking about. This is like a theme park lover's dream. Just an empty park. Oh, this is so great. Look, they even have a little DJ stage set up over there, and you can just kind of walk around. We got guys taking some photos over here? Look, I know, isn't this amazing? It's kind of, it's like your own personal photo shoot. Like your own, like, uh, 
backdrop. Look at that. As we were just about to go into the mummy, I noticed that the Santa Shrek is out. Yeah, at least our mummy's out. So, so far, what what have you thought? Mummy was good, first time riding it, you loved it? Mummy was fantastic. And now you want to do something else that's like mummy level. So I say Gringotts, and you've never been to Diagon Alley, have you? Never. No, so, no. first time. I don't know. Diagon Alley. We'll see. We'll see. I want to go for the ice cream. That is true, because we do get the, oh, I'm getting butterbeer ice cream. Yeah, I am. <laughs> no worries. Look at this. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Yo, should we get some ice cream now first and then get into Gringotts? Yeah, ice cream Gringotts. Maybe hot butter beer. Oh yeah, the wands, you can actually get a wand. All of the ice cream flavors in here are amazing and this is the only chance where you get to sample all of them because they don't do samples like during the day so now you can actually be like oh, I'll have one of those, one of those, one of those and it's really cool because like I said I love the flavors. And all they're doing is just scooping them up and putting them in cups and you just come up and grab. Oh right there is uh, peanut butter and jelly I think. Apple crumble. I want the butter beer. I know mine too The ice cream was amazing, but now it's time to put the camera away and we're gonna go ride uh, Gringotts Wow, I love this part I told you you're gonna love it in here. The whole elevator to ourselves. Oh. This is the ride I was talking about. Here it is. Oh. I think we're gonna actually make our way uh, probably out of Diagon Alley and maybe go do something different this time. <laughs> that was really funny. The, uh, the happy uh, kid dancing in the back there. He said, can I be in the background of your videos? I said, yeah, I'm about to walk away. Do whatever you wanna do, I'll have my back turned. And I think it was kind of funny, but you know, I had to stop and get a butter beer. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it today, but I've done it in the past where you just get to try all of the different Harry Potter drinks because they're all specialty like drinks. This one's lemon squash, so it's like a lemonade. That's the fishy green ale. And then over here you had the Otter's Fizzy Orange Juice, the Peach Tea Fizz Tea Tea. This orange juice one is really good, the Otter's Fizzy Orange. Yeah, that's what I got. But what I'm here for is the butter beer. Oh, you got pumpkin juice over here too. So you can get all your drinks. Like I said, I've done that before, but I'm not doing it. Maybe I do. I don't know. It's so fun. I've had them all. Frozen butter beer. I think I just want a nice little lemon and a hot butter beer. Sean, which one was your favorite drink? I would like this. What is this orange one? It was something with the fizzy something. There was a fizzy one and then there was a fishy one. A nice sugar like on the rim right there. Yeah. What about you, Jason? Um, the lemonade one. Lemonade one? Yeah, I like the lemonade one too. The orange, yeah, okay. but I stuck to the hot butter beer. I, I, I'm, I got a lemonade too and I liked it. Oh, you listening? Wow. Oh, we got pretzels. Oh, I wonder if they got a cinnamon pretzel. Same thing. Yep, cinnamon pretzel. Hi. You got any cinnamon pretzels? 
No? Oh. I'll take a regular pretzel. Huh? A popcorn. Totals $3,215. Look at that. Oh. Just a quick mental note because I didn't want to run back in there, but uh, Rikers has a total of $1,700 on their cash register. So just the tally, the tally total. They're making pizza in there. Oh, they got pizza in there. Hi. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, can I get a slice of pepperoni? Oh, no, I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. 531. Wow. And this one's 767. 779 now. Holy moly. Oh, they got cannolis. Holy cannoli. Oh. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm going to take a two cannolis. I just took two cannolis. Oh. 1650. Look at that. Something new this year is Minion Cafe, and I've been excited to see what they have to eat in here. Oh, it's like a little buffet. Okay, did you want the beef on top of the rice? Sure. Right. And the chips are plantains. There you see. Oh, some of those? yes. All right. Wow, this looks really good, actually. And then we're making Philly cheesesteak sliders as well. Oh, I'll take a Philly cheesesteak slider. Thank you. Yeah, that's how the slider should look. Wow, look at that. You want chocolate okay. Yes, please. Oh. $3,032. Thank you. Water and a churro with chocolate sauce. I want the cinnamon pretzel. I'm on the hunt for that one. Now we're detouring in uh, the newest ride here at Universal Studios Orlando, Villaincon. Look at this, just a complete walk-on too for this one. This is what I'm talking about. You could have paid $270. You know how I many thousands of people come here every day and they're just like, one ticket plus express, please. You lock and load it. Oh. Mine's five, yours is four. Three, three. Wow, five, six, two. I did good. Beef and bananas. Wow. $4,100. $4,200. Beef and bananas. $4,719. And chicken. Chicken and potatoes and corn. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Oh, yeah, look at that cheesecake. There we go. $5,133 right there for Cinnabon. And I think there's another cash register on the other side just to add it into the total. And with that, I am not home. Actually, I am in uh, South Carolina. I'm at South of the Border. And uh, I made that video uh, a while back, but I was hanging on to it because I was doing the 12 Days of Christmas countdown. And speaking of that, we are just four days away and I am on the road to Pennsylvania. So I wanted to use that video kind of as a little buffer in between, uh, in between, in between my uh, travel plans. Uh, so it gives me uh, you know, a little bit of advantage on the daily vlogging uh, but yeah uh, I'm so happy you enjoyed the video the Orlando informer meetup is amazing I added up all the money and I put it in the description uh, but wow holy moly like that is a lot of money that is a lot of food Taylor is spending a lot of money so anywho's I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and if you want to check out any information about the Orlando informer meetup I'll put a link in the description and uh, the 12 days of Christmas, uh, 12 days till Christmas continues. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Me and Gracie are staying at the South of the Border hotel room and uh, well, it's a motel and boy, oh boy, is she a beaut. Oh yes, look at my door. This is the room we're staying in right now. There's nobody even in this next room. This is awesome. What a dream come true. I've always wanted to stay here. Oh, 
good old south of the border. Have you ever saw such a place? I was thinking about actually making like a travel video uh, going up, but I'm so in a hurry to get up to see my mom. Like I'm so excited that I don't know if I got enough footage. So we'll see. If anything, I'll just put it in the beginning and then, uh, you know, because I want to I wanna vlog like my first day with my mom and sister and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. Like hopefully it goes well, but this place deserves its own video. I know I did one a long time ago, but I've never stayed here and... I love it, even though it's so bad. It's so bad, I love it. It's that bad. What? <laughs>